united against the Saudi-led airstrikes in Yemen. These are supporters of the Shia Houthi rebels in the capital Sana'a. They say the international community has failed the Yemeni people. We came out to condemn the United Nations and the human rights for the children and women that have been killed in the war. Where are their rights? It's just water on paper, not ink. There's no justification for the attacks that target only women and children. Yemen has been gripped by violence for months. Life for millions has become tough. There are shortages of water, food, fuel and medicine across the country. We are not getting enough cooking gas. There are 5,000 families in this neighborhood and they give us 200 barrels of gas. What can we do with that? We're going to fight over them. We are running out of cooking gas. The living conditions are very difficult. Many gas stations in Sana'a are out of service. For the time being, families have no option but to burn wood to cook meals. Yemen's humanitarian situation is getting worse every day. On the ground, government troops backed by coalition forces are on the offensive in Marib. They say recapturing the entire province is just a matter of time. Thank God we secured the road to Sarwa, Marib and vehicles and people are moving along without coming under fire. All is going well. Thousands have been killed since the start of war in Yemen. The United Nations has called on all sides to end the violence and find a political way out. But the warring factions remain divided, determined to continue the fight. Hashim Al-Bara, Al-Jazeera.